Okay, this tape, I'm going to give you an update of where we need to go after we, a few of us, went out and went through the process again out here trying to uh, do all the legwork for some of you people that you think you need to have us do it all. So, here it is. I'm going to first tell you a story about what is taking place and give you a perfect example of it that you can verify for yourself very easily and basically see the repercussions of what happens. The story evolves around a group of people known as federal. You have to know what the word federal means or is broken down to mean. Fed E Rail. And basically what it means is fed out of that which is real. In other words, we have to feed them if they are to survive. That's what a federal organization is. It has to be fed out of that which is real, and we have to be the ones to feed it if they are to survive. Do we need them to survive? No. We don't really need them. In most cases, they've grown out of control. Now, here's the setup. We stop feeding them. Now they get pissed off because they think we owe it to them to keep feeding them. And they want to continue to survive. So, they will destroy that which originally fed them and then go after any other food source, destroying its originator until they finally die or are destroyed. Because they do not know how to produce their own life substance. Now, the example of that, and it's very simple to tr prove this out on your own. And I'm sure you've probably heard stories about this. Try it out with raccoons. I'm sure you've all seen raccoons. You start feeding them and they will keep coming back. And then you take off and go away for a couple days and you're not feeding them. They will literally tear a door apart, a window, tear through the screens, get into the house to get to that food supply that they have seen you going to. They will cause more damage out there. So, most cases, they have to get somebody in there to eradicate them. That's going to be what has to happen if we want to stop what is going on in this country. We're going to have to start eradicating some of the feds out of the system to where we get back in control over them. They won't like hearing this. And they won't understand why. But that is the bottom line. You can't explain things to Raccoon and tell them that you're going out of town. These government, federal 
employees are just about the same damn way. You can't explain anything to them. They think they know it all. Now, <clears throat> I am right about the QSIP or about the securities. All of these documents are basically commodity securities, governmental commodity securities that are owed to us. Take a look at your certificate of live birth, a death certificate, a title deed to your property, a title deed that certified copies that are issued out, the certificate to your vehicle, in some cases your driver's license, and many other items out here. They in most cases, will have a red number on them. That is normally a special QCIP number, a governmental QCIP number on that. That is the security number uh, that would be utilized in going in to uh, transfer that uh, security. They're government obligations, government backed debt instruments that the government owes to us. Okay, the QSIP number is a unique number given to a security distinguishing it from other stocks and registered bonds. And in most cases, there are special numbers, and normally you take a look at things in red and black. Red is normally a debt owed to the holder. That is the Red Sea that Moses crossed, was the Red Sea of debt. He parted it. Now, like I said in the previous tape, the courthouse is up there for the government, the federal uh, building courthouse, U.S. courthouse, whatever. They do have a governmental commodity broker sitting there. They do have uh, reserve currency sitting there. But they are not going to allow us to utilize that facility. They will take instruments when they are returned by another government organization like the city, the county, the state, and process those through the system for them, but they're not going to do it for us, the real lawful owners. They don't want us to know that it's there because we would no longer need them. So we're going to have to take some of these items. Don't go overboard with it when you do this. Okay, we're going to take it to a private commodity broker. We'll set up an account. You may have to take a DD or a uh, Form 56 in and make them your fiduciary in the transaction. You set up an account with them. You can then turn around and you uh, do an assignment of that because that is being held right now by the name only person that is on that certificate. So you have to assign it over to you as the living individual and in like your certificate of live birth you would have to assign 
a certain amount of value to it that you're going to have processed out against your government obligation account. DD-214 form, we may have to go a completely different route because it's going to be coming out of a special treasury, governmental treasury account. And that one might have to be processed through uh, the Department of Interior. The Department of Interior is basically a special uh, department within the government. It is not it is not a federal uh, organization in the regards that it is a corporate organization in the all means. Okay, it is a a real de jure department because it deals with the land. These others all deal with the fiction, fictionary. So, and see, basically you, you can take a look at that, the uh, uh, obligations that uh, uh, come out of Alaska for the Pudo Bay that is given out to all the Alaskans up there on a yearly basis, the royalties that come out of there are processed through the Department of the Interior. All the obligations going to the Indian tribes are processed through the Department of in the Interior. We can go to them and process uh, our entire birth certificate, certificate of live birth and our entire death certificates out that you can take your other, you can take them in for a certain amount and run them through a commodity broker and there you're going to have to pay a commission for them to process that through for you. Now, in some cases, there might be already a set commission rate for doing government securities that they can't charge over a certain amount, like they do with other commodity securities when you go in and buy a uh, contract for 5,000 bushels of corn. or 100,000 board foot of lumber, or uh, oil, or milk, or gold, or silver, or currency, Swiss francs. Anything that is traded on the big board, the Chicago Mercantile, the New York Mercantile, and the London Mercantile are all commodities. And that's what all of our uh, government securities are backed is, is by the government obligations are in uh, commodities. So we convert our commodities into a useful uh, means of exchange. So you take your certificate of live birth, and you go down there, you're going to do an assignment over to you as the living body of land. And I'm posting up on the group site there a couple items, okay? I uh, posted up the link to go and download uh, the complete book on Laws of Negotiable Instruments a 1907 book. You can read the whole thing. I took out 
roughly 22 pages of it, and I've got it posted up as a PDF file, Negotiable Instrument Transfers. I pulled out that part that basically pertains to transfers of uh, negotiable instruments, securities, and especially the last four pages cover talk about assignment. You have to read and understand what is going on there. And the government cannot and really read the last page, okay? The government or the somebody cannot come in, the tax man and everything else can't come in and place liens against that when you do that. So this is coming out in real substance. They can only assess something that is not real that you're utilizing. The Federal Reserve debt notes. I also put up uh, two financial dictionaries in a zip folder for each one of them. One is the UDS Dictionary of Banking. The other is the Campbell R. Harvey's Finance Dictionary. And then I posted up a, a link that you can go to the Law of Real Property and Other Interests in Land by Herbert R. Thorne, Dyke, and Taffney, Tiffany. You can go in there and study some on that. Do not play like the feds and think you have to have everything spoon fed to you. Because if you don't get the understanding how to do this on your own, you will destroy what is out there in front of you in the process of not knowing how to control it properly and basically you will give up your real wealth for a bag of marshmallows today. So, please, and the other item was the Federal Understanding document that I'm putting up there. So, take a look at this stuff. But go and find a federal, a public commodity broker that deals in federal securities. And take a look at all documents that you have that are issued out by the government. You will see that they have a red number or a barcode or something on them to ex That would be what you need to do. And then talk to that government commodity security broker and find out from him if you're doing this right. What they want to see upon the document so they can process it through. Now, not all of them may know this. So, take your time and go. Okay, one other thing I forgot to add here was that you need to go to uh, the Department of Interior and uh, to get a official U.S. passport. It will be brown with gold lettering. Okay, uh, you. The phone number for there is two zero two two zero eight five two nine two, and uh, you call them up and. Uh, They'll get back in touch with you. Uh, that go into the Department of the Interior's website and check out both their legal department and a few others to fully understand and see what real services you have available to you through the Department of the Interior. That is our land, real land office that, uh, is out here for us. So, take care. Forward. Okay.